नमस्ते सस्याकाल आदाब हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डेट के लर्नर अ बिट फॉरवर्ड डेली दिस इज योर गो टू प्लेस टू लर्न पावर बीआई स्टेप बाय स्टेप टुडेस टॉपिक टुडे इज डे 24 कंडीशनल कॉलम्स इफ लॉजिक वी आर यूआई सो वी विल बी ओनली वर्किंग विद यूआई हैव यू एवर वांटेड टू ऐड एक्सेल लाइक इफ कंडीशन इन पावर बीआई विदाउट राइटिंग अ सिंगल लाइन ऑफ कोड टुडे आई विल बी showing you exactly how to do that but before that if you find this video useful please hit like share it with someone you might who might need it or you think that would need it and subscribe to the channel your one share might help someone to find their first job or improve their skills now we'll switch over to the conditional formatting or conditional column as it is one of the easiest way to build logic like if amount is greater than 1000 then high else low it's quick it's visual and it's perfect for the beginner so we are going to show you a demo before i start building that let me just show you this is one of the demo that we'll be creating where we'll have if and condition if and else condition and this is the other one which we'll be creating with all the colors difference using the gradient colors so very quickly let's move over and start with the demo so i have my power bi desktop open and if you don't please get it open and um if you want i can i can share that file i'll be sharing that file in the github but all that you have to do is make the request for getting it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and get data in the excel and then i'll be using this file which is unique customers amount 5000 so there are 5000 entries for the users different users all that says mentions unique but all the names are not unique so i will select the sheet that I'm, i want to work with and i'll click on transform data so when i click on the transform data this will be opening up the power bi uh, query editor so for doing the first part of the demo what i have to do is i have to add a conditional column so i'll click on add column then i'll click on the conditional column and in the conditional column i'll say if amount is greater than 6000 i've just gone through the data and the data is lying between 1000 to 9000 where the skewness or the majority of the data is lying somewhere in 9000 or near to the 9000 so that's the reason i'm taking 6000 so i will write down if it is greater than this it is high and if it is less than 6000 it is low so it will add a conditional column i will just go back to the home and click on apply and i can come back to my report now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a clustered column chart so here you can see it is saying clustered column chart and in the custom column chart i'll go back to my sheet one that i've used um yeah let's just go back and check i have applied this so i should see okay i did one thing wrong i gave it a name as the custom column i don't want to give it as a custom column i will name it as the sales category so i'll just click on okay and here i'll click on apply so that the changes that i've done come here so now here what i'll do is i'll put the sales category in the x axis and the amount in the y axis now i just don't want the sum i want the count I actually want to know the count of how many of them are high and how many of them are low and i want to show that value so uh, what i need to do is i can be here in the format of that and go to the data label and turn it on so you will see a number coming on the top there are various formatting that you can do for for the numbers as well if you want vertical you can see it vertical I'll just keep it horizontal. Position is auto. I'll say um, inside center, so it will bring the value inside the center, and then you would be able to see the value. Now the other thing is, I have put in the colors there. So for putting the colors, I'll go into the conditional formatting. So I'll click on column. I'll click on this fx, which is nothing but function. So I will say I want to set a rule, 
and that rule applies to the sales category. If the value of the sales category is high, it should be green. So I can go to more color, select green, and select the green that I want to apply. So I will apply this green, come there and say, I want to add another rule which says that if this is low, it should be red in color. So I'll put in the red and click on OK. So now you can see if the value is low, it is showing in red. And if the value is high, it is showing in green color, which is just the way that we have done this as well in the previous part. So that is the first thing that I wanted to show you. Right. And uh, now, if the condition, what we have done is we have said if there is only one condition. But sometimes what might happen is you can see it here as well. We have just put in one condition. But sometimes you want to see the frequency. So you want to have different blocks of data. Uh, so from zero to, you want to check that how the frequency of the data is from zero to 2,500, from 2,500 to 5,000 then from 5,000 to 7,000 and 7,000 to 9,000 and 9,000 and above, you want to put a different category. For that, we are going to do the same thing. We'll click on add and then go to the conditional column. Okay, I just need to click on out. And then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this column as sales frequency. Now in the sales frequency, what I want to do is I want to put in a category. I want to say when the columns amount is greater than greater than not equal to greater than 2500 zero, zero, then the output is high right or what I can do is is if the amount is less than then the output is low because if it is less than 2000 500 it would be low i'll add another clause and say else if amount is less than 5000 see how smartly i'm doing this thing as in how smart power bi is as well so what i'm saying is if it is less than 2500 it is low if it is not less than 2500 it will go to the else part where it will check if it is less than 5000 so what it is doing is if in that scenario, it would, it would have already checked if it is less than 2,500. So now when I'm putting the 5,000, the second condition would be checking if the value is between 2,500 and 4,099. So that kind of a value. And what I'm going to write down here is if it is in that position, I'll write down moderate, right? So that is moderate. I'll add another clause and write down amount if it is less than if it is less than seven thousand, right? Then it is then it is good, right? If the amount is less than nine thousand, then that would be something as great. But if it goes beyond, if the amount is greater than equal to 9,000, right, then it is a wow, right? I'll click on OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'll sort it on the frequency of this, right? So I will say sort descending. So it would be going from wow. Or the better thing would be not putting a frequency here, but sorting it on the amount. So if you do the sorting on the amount, it will put everything in the amount perspective, right? So now we, what we have done is we have already created a frequency column, which has been sorted on the amount. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to home and click on apply. I want to add another page. So I'll click on add another page. Right, and in the second page, what we want to do now is we want to work on the same thing. And so I'll click and select the clustered column. This time, what I want to do is I want to show the frequency. So I'll put the sales frequency in x axis, amount in y axis. I don't want to show the sum, I'll just want to show the count. So now you can see 
it has been it's showing moderate good great low and wow but we wanted to sort it on the basis of the sales frequency so now it is going from moderate wow moderate low great and good now i still want to check one thing the first thing is that i want the labels on the top so what i can do is i can go to the format and select the data label i would want them to be somewhere inside the base so you can see it goes to the bottom and then what i need to do is i need to first show the borders of it so i'll go to the general go to effect and visual border and shadow so it, it highlights where it is lying on this sheet and then i'll select it again and this time i want the conditional formatting based on various columns so i'll go to the fx this time i want a gradient color which should move from low to high right so what i do is i will say it's it's on the sales frequency right but i don't want the rule i require the gradient so now count of sales frequency and then that's what it is working on so if it is low i want it to be having a green color of a low a one there right but if it is on the higher side i want the green color again but on the darker side so i'll just click here and click on okay so now you can see it is showing you the frequency where it has gone low here and then it has moved to the higher but you can see that if we see wow it's just showing us five to four so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the effects color again and i'll select a bit more greener so that it, it displays right the white color comes in there so it's still very it's still not very prominent where you see the number but what i can do is i can go to the data label and then uh, i will turn on the background and i'll put the background as the color that i want so i'll put in black and i'll remove the transparency so you can see that that black dot has come there and you would be able to see the numbers the other formatting that you can do with the data labels is you can go into the data label and you can see the values you can make it bold right on italic and underlined so there are other things that you can do you can increase the size of it as well so it becomes bigger and it's more prominent to be seen similarly you can do the various things with it as well various uh, changes in the pattern on on the heading the other things right so these were the two reports that i wanted to show you and so now that you have seen this right it, you realize that how easy it is to use if logic in power bi using just the ui user interface you require no m code no dax just logic made simple right this is especially useful for creating dynamic categories in the reports like the way that we have done right so tell me in the comments what kind of logic would you create with these uh, with these or this feature in your dashboard would you tag sales as high or low or classify customer by loyalty let's discuss it in the comments below tomorrow right a sneak peek to tomorrow day 25 tomorrow we'll be we'll take one more step further and explore nested ifs and conditional column using m code for our advanced logic so we have done a part of the nested ifs here as well the else part so we'll be focusing on custom column using the m code for a bit of advanced logic so don't miss it so and thank you for learning with divk learner where every day we move a bit forward together don't forget to like share subscribe for more job trading skills see you in the next one Bye. Bye bye.